sofa6.co.uk sponsors of the haze out oops guess who pressed the wrong button you pressed the wrong button. i meant to press the button that shuts everything up <laughs> they all look the same to me well the, the buttons uh, there's just there's uh, buttons all over the place yeah. it's, it's amazing i see that yes. we're, uh, we're on telling you know Oh, really? Shall we say hello? Hello. 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 Well, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a good night tonight. I think it's all good news, aside from Bobo not having returned yet. But there's all kinds of stuff to talk about. There's the KTS Storm. Keith, Keith is going to be doing a review. Yes. I'm looking forward to this. He's got notes and everything. It's going to be notes. brilliant. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Daz is going to sit and look gorgeous. As always. <laughs> Wait, you see it. <laughs> hey, I've got to blow me on Trump because nobody else oh, will. I'm pleased you said Trump at Sunshine, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that could just have been bad. It, it could, could have been. Be, but I'll save that for next time. I would, yes, if right. I was you. Okay. Yes, yes. indeed. Um, what else? How I've been getting on with the RSS. T there's all kinds. There's, and the difference between a bottom <sighs> coil cart or and a top coil cart or because I've been getting a lot of questions asked. What's the difference between them? Right. So I've done some filming. 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 Well, like filming. Filming is brilliant. Yeah. Isn't filming good? Yeah. Technical, is it? Yeah. No. Oh. No, oh, it's, right. it's aimed at, at people that don't know, so it's not technical. People like me. Aye. Right. For want of a better phrase. Right. <laughs> and that's, that's all <laughs> coming up in this episode of, on three, four, The Here's the Hour. Hour. Oh, that was horrible. Do it I again. Know. On three. The, what? <laughs> the, 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 is our. Yes, as ever was, hello, good evening and welcome to the Hairs Hour here on May the 2nd, Thursday, May the 2nd in the year of 2013. Yesterday was hooray, hooray the 1st of May, because I've done what he starts today. Today is, I'm too old and it's too cold, basically. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't, would you, Keith? No. No. However, <laughs> you sure were? It's all right. Huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm just staying quiet. That's fair enough. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Shall we do the good news first? Yes, do the we'll good do news. the good news first. We mentioned this last night on VT Talk. It was mentioned in chat by uh, Lee Anna Lawless, Les, Lee, Les, Lee, and uh, L A L Lau, her fantabulous last reads all sorts of stuff up. And she brought the news that the jury committee had decided to, um, yes, publish an opinion. And the opinion's here. Here it is. This is the bit that really concerns us. It says, by prohibiting any labelling that suggests a particular tobacco product is less harmful than others, the proposal causes an additional problem. The development and promotion of less harmful means of tobacco use is essential in order to support tobacco users to stop smoking cigarettes and the like, mm. whatever the like is. Manufacturers must be able to communicate that a certain product is less harmful than others if this is scientifically proven and if it's not misleading. This is not the only measure proposed that would make it more difficult to access reduced risk products. Article 18 of the proposal prohibits nicotine containing products, NTPs, such as e-cigarettes containing a certain nicotine level if they are not authorised pursuant to Directive 2001-83-EC, the Medicinal Products Directive. It is, however, quite unclear if these products, which are much less harmful <laughs> than tobacco products i'll say that again because they typed it which are much less harmful than tobacco products 
even fall under the scope of the medicinal products directive and there's a little um, little warning to let you have the footnotes basically says it wouldn't be legal for them to it's wrong for products which do not fall under the directive this would effectively constitute a ban <laughs> yes banning products which are less harmful than tobacco products and which can be a means of smoking cessation is certainly not in line with the public health aims of this proposal excuse me <coughs> for just a second are we ready boys yes <coughs> are you going to now give us it in plain english basically the jury committee being the clever people that they are have sat down and looked at the legality of calling e-cigs medicines and they've gone no then they've looked at other legalities as well the various different um, subsections of the constitution of the european union and section e114 dash lots of other numbers and letters says no you can't do that either because under subsidiarity they can't do it under subsidiarity because that is for national parliaments to decide mm. but even so e-cigs aren't medicines and they agree with us that what has been proposed by the commission by tony o'borg is a whole load of cards wallop that e-cigs are not a medicine and that it is de facto a ban in fact they even use the phrase elsewhere in the document Right, I'm two or three weeks behind. The jury committee. Yes, J -U -R -I. who were there in the context <coughs> of <coughs> the EC. Right, they're the people <laughs> that sit down and they look at all of the various different bits of legislation that's been done, and they examine it all for legality. Right, it's the judicial and and and, and everything like that. So these are all. Um, very learned people, they know their way around all of this kind of stuff. Right. And they'll go through it all and go, actually, that's not legal. Right. You can't do that. There isn't a legal way you can do it. It would be illegal to do it. And that's what they've done. So presumably they then tell the commission. They go they back. Can't... They, they <laughs> produce uh, what's called an opinion. And if I, if I, if I can find the scrolly bit on here. I'll go to the top and, and, and show you what it's called. It's called a draft opinion of the Committee on Legal Affairs for the Committee on the Environment, Public Health and Food Safety. And the rapporteur for this is Klaus Heiner Lehner, right? I think I want if I'm gonna have his kids as well. Right. Um, bottom line on it is the thing to remember is that the whole of uh, Article 18 of the, t the revisions to the tobacco products directive the whole thing that's come from there article 18 is the bit that deals with e-cigs yes. and basically what they've done I'm, i'll try and find it see if i can scroll down to it because it's a long way this is a massive document it is it's a massive document it's taken me all day to read it all because i wanted to basically all of the sections look like that and that's the word there look that's the one you're looking for deleted deleted in other words, take it out. So this, right. it, so <coughs> just so that I get this right, when this goes back <coughs> to what we've been seeing with the EU, mm -hmm. this is the this stuff that will be taken out of the directive. Well, no, it goes to the Envy Committee, mm -hmm. and the Envy Committee discusses it. Now, I need to, to contact one or two people um, in the European Parliament to find out what strength the jury amendments have. Right. It's eminently possible that the Envy Committee, under the uh, patronage of Ms McCavan, mm. might decide to plough on regardless and take it to court when they've got there. Mm -hmm. There's no guarantee either way. Mm -hmm. But I need to find out whether, what, what kind of strength this has. And yeah. I'm, I'm going to be making some phone calls um, next week okay. uh, to find out what's going on, dropping a few emails around the place. But I mean, at the moment, MAPs are here, there and everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, so in other words, they can legitimately challenge the legal advice that they've got from the body that provides it to them. Is effectively, Envy can turn around and say that they consider that the opinion that jury has provided is mistaken. But I think then it would have to be knocked back to jury to have another look. Right. But of course, if you take that in cahoots with the Lords, because the Lords recommended 
that the tobacco uh, that e-cigs be taken out of the tobacco products directly, mm -hmm. as Dave Kitson showed yes. last week. Um, and, and the Lord's recommending that something should happen is a little bit like a waiter suggesting you might like to pay your bill, mm. you know? Um, they do have this ability to say, uh, do it. Yeah. So everything's, everything seems to be going in the right direction. So the odds Amazing. at the moment are, are very much in our favour. I, I would say that the, the, I am now guardedly optimistic. Mm. I'm guardedly optimistic. As Disco Des Wilkinson has just said, a battle has been won, but not the war. Very not well. the you war. are so yeah. right, Des. Very uh, well, Paul. Seabiscuit said it's a step in the right direction, if anything. Yeah. And, and if I could scroll back, I would scroll further back in the chat. But it's, yes, it's, it's, a, it's a huge step. It's a big step. It's brilliant news, but I'm not putting the bunting out yet. No. Mm. I'm not putting the bunting out yet mm -hmm. because what's going to happen on uh, Tuesday at the, um, at the workshop as yet remains to be seen, although we will be getting information fed back on mm -hmm. that. So that's all good, but that was the good news. I thought I would share that. That's good news. That's I'd, good I stuff. Like, I like good news later. Yes, that's good I stuff. I really do. I like the bit where <coughs> it, it just kind of says, e cigs, forget it, mate. Just take them out. It's not happening. There it is. Amendment uh, Article 18. Come on, David, find it. Because it, it just looks so good, I want to have another look at it. There's so many. They've, they've tabled about 60 amendments in all of this. Um, and even down to telling them, actually, you can't have plain packaging. Oh, no, I do remember sitting here and oh, talking yeah. about that as well. Can't have plain packaging, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yes, we find Article 18. Article 18, I'll just I'll cut the camera three and scroll through. And all you can see, their amendments are all deleted, deleted, deleted. Look at that. Deleted, deleted deleted and it says the requirement of authorization of nicotine containing products pursuant to directive 2001 ec could <laughs> seriously restrict access to products which are less harmful than tobacco products and which can help tobacco consumers to quit additionally the measures proposed cannot be based on article 114 brackets 1 tfeu and therefore lack any legal base it's not legal you cannot do it sod off yes mm. Isn't that nice? Well, it is. It's refreshing. It is. Refreshing. It's refreshing. It's a very, very refreshing thing. And <laughs> Do aliens just put pity they can't beat the EU? <laughs> I, would, I would go along here, here. I, But I'm, I'm going to back up what Rat Finks has said as well. We still need to keep fighting just as strongly. Yeah. We don't have time to sit back or to think everything is okay, so we go quiet. Rat Finks? Yeah. Double thumbs. Double thumbs. That's exactly right. We cannot afford to be complacent. This is a mere skirmish. We've got to keep the pressure on, keep the pressure on, keep sending the emails, keep sending the videos, tune in on Saturday night, Andy's got something, tune in on Sunday night, Dave's got something, keep at them. Keep. Shall we do something different now? Yes. I'm just having a quick look at the time. It's 9.13. Do you know the difference? Shall we do, we'll do this a bit on the cartomizers. Okay. Yeah? Right. yeah? Difference between a top coil and a bottom coil cartomizer right. because that's, that's salient to your review that's going to come up in part two. Review. Your review. Yeah, I didn't know I was putting it as formally as that. Oh, everybody uh, in chat's waiting for it. Oh, are they right? I well, hope they won't be disappointed. Oh, they're absolutely, <laughs> absolutely waiting for this. They want to hear it. I mean, he's got notes and any Anyway, right. I haven't got top, notes. <laughs> top coil and bottom coil cartomizers. I, get, I do get asked a lot, what the hell is the difference between a top coil and a bottom coil cartomizer? What's so special about a bottom coil cartomizer? Why is it different from a top? Why does it make a difference? Where? And so, so I thought, right, I shall sit down with something white to rest upon and I'll video. So I videoed and here it is. I'm quite often asked what the difference is between a bottom coil and a top coil. How does top coil versus bottom coil workout and so on and so on and so forth. So I thought I'll have a quick look at one or two bits and bobs and see if we can't sort this out. And here we've got a Kanga MT3 bottom coil, we've got the Vision Eagle top coil and in this pack is a brand new unopened as yet to be used vape only BCC Mega Clearomizer. And these demonstrate, I think, 
where the various different bits of coils and what have you sit. So let's see if we can kind of get a handle on it. If you look at this particular one, you can see that the coil sits very, very high up in the whole cartomizer. The wick's wick, as you can see, this is almost empty, but there is definitely juice going right up to the top. Move these out of the way a little bit. Right so that you can see the juice goes right the way up to the top. It's not a problem. It doesn't seem to be an issue to get the juice to wick up to the coil. However, the experience with these, because the coil is right here and your lips are right here, where our finger is, fingers the lips, you're going to have quite a warm experience. We're looking at not a great deal of distance between where the coil is, where the lips are. So it's going to be quite hot. Now let's have a look at the BCC jobby. And the BCC's coil is right way down at the bottom. So the distance between the coil, which is level with where my finger is now, right the way down there, there's quite a way up before you get to the mouthpiece. And because of the way the mouthpiece is situated on these things, your lips are going to be about here. So if I was to put the coil on the vision where the coil on the BCC is, laying the two up exactly, you can see that there is quite a difference between where the two coils are and where your lips are, around about an inch in fact, which is quite a distance in many ways. Take things out of the way down and you can see better. So those coils are actually matched up there now. And there's around about an inch of distance difference between the two. If I do the same sort of thing with the Kangaroo MT3 and match the two coils up, which is not quite as easy to see, but there you go, they're matched up now and the difference is even greater. Look at that. There's a good inch, at least an inch of difference there. So what that means in terms of these various different bottom coil and top coil units, and we haven't even mentioned the EVOD, is that the bottom coil units you would expect to wick very, very well. Gravity is going to help. The top coil units do seem to wick, wick reasonably well, but it's going to give you a hotter experience, volt for volt, watt for watt, if you like. Um, and it's really down to choice. You're going to have to try them to find out which one you really like. And that's without bringing in the EVOD. So there you have it. Bottom coil, the coil is at the bottom, down here. Top coil, the coil is at the top. They're all replaceable, very, very similar sort of um, thing. Just the coil placement that's different in each. <laughs> Stop laughing, you two. Well, that's one bit of technical <laughs> knowledge that I, I you got. You didn't some. fall asleep, no. that was marvellous. Yeah. I actually got that. Well, I'm pleased to <laughs> hear it. Tops at the top and the bottoms at the bottom. Which is pretty much as you would expect. Yes. We need more of that, don't we, Keith? I think so. We do. Yes. 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 More, please. What, simple stuff? Yes. Well, yes. as I said, I know one or two people in chat did say it's pretty obvious that top mm. coils at the top and the bottom coils at the bottom and apparently uh, one of the new mini novas the coil is in the middle it's mid coil yeah and i'm beginning to think that we might be getting to the stage where it'd be a good idea because people like to know this kind of thing and have a half inch drop coil a three quarters inch drop coil an inch drop coil how far is the coil from the mouthpiece be interesting if that was there yeah yes because if you think back to CE2s, for instance, mm. the coil was just about beside your flame and tongue. Yeah, it was. And if you didn't have a drip tip on, I mean, it was so hot <laughs> on the tip of your tongue. You remember? No, you don't. I don't. Oh, no. well, there you go. I'll save that no, and don't. search some out for next week. Oh, right. And we'll, we'll have right. a, bit, uh, a, bit, a bit try. They mm. were hot as the hobs of Hades. They were. And yet a bottom coil cartomizer is nice and cool. And so on and so forth. Are you... Uh, are you all hyped up and ready now, Keith? For what? For your review. Oh, right. Are you? 
Uh, yes, yes. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take the adverts first, just to give you time, you know, breathe deeply. Oh, right, over. Okay. Get yourself right, ready. Right. So, when we come back, <coughs> Keith's going to be going through the EVOD and some vanilla custard juice. Don't go anywhere. This is going to be brilliant. Custard. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Hour. And indeed they are, yes. Are you ready, Keith? <laughs> yes. Because yes, it was from yes. Safer Sigs that your Evoid came. Evoid? Yeah. Evoid. E Evoid. Is that a new word for it? Evoid. No, it's not. It's completely wrong. In actual <laughs> Evoid. Out of yes. Evoid. <laughs> the Evoid. So, Keith? Well, it's really such a pleasure to, uh, to wax lyrical about something. It is really. Uh, I got this present... And I've got to say that I'm more than satisfied with it. Okay. I mean, it it's it's uh, well presented in this beautiful box, and that's the first impression you get, isn't it? The mm -hmm. way it's packed. Um, very nice indeed. Um, right. It suits my every need. I've pulled it out of my pocket. Beautifully engineered. Um fits nicely into the pocket um, satisfies all of that simplicity that's what you're looking for and i picture the guy who may have gone out and uh, decided well i think i think i'll try e cigarette so he buys a disposable one mm -hmm. and yeah i think i could get into this what is the next step and i would have suggested most certainly one of these uh, you know me, uh, no faffing about with ohms, volts, wicks, all the rest of it. Mr. This, technology speaking. Mr. Technology speaking. <laughs> this, this, you don't need to do any of that at all. All you simply do is every night charge it and then uh, drip your juice uh, into it and you're away. And one filling usually lasts me um for the the best part of a day so it it's it's simple um it's got a a very nice feel to it um what i hadn't seen before was the fact that the button is almost flush you'll have noticed from yours it is yes with, with the device itself one tiny niggle and it is just a tiny niggle I find it difficult because of the fact that the button is flush with the device and of course that prevents it um, accidentally uh, uh, switching on. 
is that even although I've been using it three weeks, I find it difficult to identify straight away where the button is. And a little suggestion might be that the button itself is textured. But that's just a small point, mm. uh, a, a, a very small point. Right. And uh, I, I've taken to it in a big way and have used really no other device in the three weeks since I got it. Nothing at all? Uh, no. no so just would, you, would you make your other devices redundant over that? Oh no, no. Um, I thought I'd give it an, a good test simply because I was so pleased with yeah. it. And um, highly recommend it. Mm. And of course the bonus is that you get two. <coughs> it's, it's, yes. You, you, <coughs> you're getting two devices in the package. Mm. Um, so really you can't go wrong. No. And uh, it satisfies really all of my requirements and the one thing that yeah. of course that does appeal is the simplicity of it mm -hmm. uh, the instruction book for example that's the size of the instruction book six pages that's all very clear um, so even I could read those instructions and follow them I love the way you say <coughs> even I. I. Even I could do that. So <coughs> it's it's pleased you? <coughs> Very much so. And I would highly recommend it to anyone who has the same simple requirements as I have. And of course the 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 bonus has been over the the last week that Gillis very kindly sent me some vanilla custard He's juice yes and could i take this opportunity of thanking him very much for that i've used nothing else this week and i've been delighted with its flavor yes and, and i'm going <coughs> to say to gillis yeah thank you very much for sending to keith but can you could you next time if you're doing that please put a note in to tell him not to use it in here it stinks i like it I, 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 i'll favor it i'm with you here i've voted dave even my wife finds it a pleasant i mean the balance is just right it's smooth it's rounded I don't like throat hit. You get no throat hit from it. And again, thank you, Gillis, for sending me uh, a generous quantity of that. I will continue uh, to use it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, um, um, yes. That was that was your first review, wasn't it? Live, your first live review. It was. Well, was it a review? Well, that yeah, was call a review. It what you will. That was that was an but, evaluation. Uh, mm -hmm. Without any shadow of a doubt. And the darn good one, well done for that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I would say so. Yeah. Oh, I'm, right. I'm pleased you're enjoying it because I, I've got to admit, um, if I'm, thank you, I'll have it back now. If I'm out and about, I've got my Evod with me. Mm. Um, Jill does have a tendency to, uh, you know, she looks at these and she kind of goes, Do you really need to take that? Yes. And, mm. you know, I'll say, Yes. And she'll say, Are you sure? And you know when a lady says, are you sure? You know what that means. Mm. It yes. means, no, you're not. Yes. That's what it means. But I was surprised to, I was surprised to discover that you couldn't uh, find the button very easily. <laughs> but apparently that's a man thing. Well, uh, uh, I mean, it, it, it's something that, that's minor and I'm perfectly prepared to, uh, you know, put up with that. But yeah, I've uh, been saying that for years because Jill keeps telling me the same thing. <laughs> I've um, had trouble finding the button. As, as I say, if if it was textured in some way, uh, it would be yeah, uh, you know, more more obvious. But uh, mm. one can well understand the thinking, yeah, well, uh, behind uh, you know the the engineering of it and the fact that it's flush and uh, not as easily accidentally. Yes, well, I've got uh, musicians' fingers, as has been pointed out by someone in chat earlier on, and. I don't have a problem finding the button. Yeah, well, I've I'm, got to be honest. I'm supposed to have, aren't I? But, uh, you know. I've, uh, I've, I've <laughs> got to be really careful how I say this, but I find it very easy to feel the ring. 
Right. <laughs> I, yeah. feel, I don't feel the button so much as I feel the ring. <laughs> uh, so I yes. Can, yes, I can. I can find the button in the dark by locating the ring and moving from there. Quite. <laughs> Quite. Uh, <coughs> we should probably leave that one there. Really. I, I think so. I think yes. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, yes. Okay. Fair but enough. for anyone who hasn't tried vanilla custard, I mean, I laughed. Did I not? That as well. Yeah, I, you chortled. But uh, I yeah, did. did. But uh, there again, when I used to smoke a pipe, I used to smoke flavoured American tobaccos. Mm. So that's perhaps one of the reasons yeah. why uh, I took to it. Mm. I mean, it's interesting because ever since I mean, I've I've went along the the route of ever since taking up flavoured, I've always went along the route of flavours as opposed to tobacco eating with the RYs mm. and had so much fun but I do find and you know some do find it a laughable joke but I do find custard a very stable juice I do I just can't help it it, it you know many a night I can sit there and vape away to my heart's content <coughs> and it's just absolute pleasure well it would appear then that Gillis has a gift for manufacturing he's, these flavours uh, you know, maybe he. he he's known as king, uh, well. He's he's uh, now known as king of custard. King right. Of well, you he's know, the custard king. he is the custard king. I call him his majesty. Uh, it would be good if he, <laughs> if he researched uh, maybe some other unusual flavors. Oh, I what you yeah. don't mind. Well, you know, whiskey springs to mind. Uh -huh. and, uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you've got me thinking now. Oh God, that's dangerous. Oh, yeah. You see, if somebody could do the perfect Bailey's for me. Baileys. Baileys, Baileys, yeah. Baileys, I love Baileys, you see. Yes. Baileys. Oh, yeah. I really do like Baileys, yeah. yeah. If somebody could do me the perfect Baileys, that would be my one. Baileys well, Irish cream. Baileys Irish yeah, cream. Yeah, we all have different yeah. uh, idiosyncrasies, don't mm. we? It's Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. VaporTrails.tv <laughs> would like to apologise for Daz <laughs> with his Baileys Irish cream. Chelsea B agrees with me. What? Chelsea B agrees <coughs> with me. Does she? All I'm right. not... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob! They <laughs> would also yeah. like to apologise for Jill CB agreeing with Daz. <laughs> oh. Okey I, I Well, there you go. Oh, Lord! Kronos has just posed the question. Bailey's on a bobo. Bobo would love Bailey's. I'm, I'm not sure yeah. Bobo would. Anyway, Bobo's gone right off you. Yeah, Bobo's not impressed with me. If either. you're not following Bobo on Twitter, <coughs> you really should be following Bobo on Twitter. I think that's really sad, given your devotion to her. Bobo uh, is completely <coughs> fed up with me because Bobo thinks I'm utterly infatuated with Evic. So and what have you got in your left hand now? Well, the, yeah, but it's all I've got now because Bobo's left me. So I've got no option, you know, even if I, even if I had... Bobo here, I mean, obviously Bobo <coughs> would take, but Bobo doesn't understand how special she is, it's not, Bobo is an everyday device, you know, Bobo is someone that I have to have time alone with, you know, for, for vape and enjoyment. This just right. gets worse as I say it, doesn't <coughs> it? <laughs> uh, right, right, <laughs> I'm stuck for words there. Yeah. Yeah, um, are you? I draw me slightly. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm I've, just, I've been, just basically I've been trying to win her back for nearly over a week now, and uh, it's just not uh, happening right now. So, well, having those emotional ties, I can imagine it's must it, it 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 must be quite traumatic for you. I've went through boxes of Kleenex this week. Yes. Boxes. Yes. <coughs> You were sad as well. No, uh, I'm uh, just uh, dumb. Just at least Keith shares the night grief. Well, I'm oh trying. My God. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to empathise. <laughs> I wouldn't say exactly shared in your grief, but uh, empathise is <laughs> Thank bad. <you>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The next episode yeah. of Bob Walk and Large <laughs> will happen on Vapor Trails TV yeah. when hell freezes over. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, I'm sorry, but you know. It's an AC, and it doesn't Special. like it anymore. No, it doesn't. Because you've it's cheated special. on her with an Avic. I did not cheat on her with an Avic. Well, anyway, apparently, she's going to be shacking up with Pete Dermody. Mm -hmm. If you were watching, you Twitter see, I on. can't understand how you can move from Bobo <laughs> to you know a sort of 
intercontinental ballistic missile like that because it's, you know what I mean it, it's a it's a sharp contrast <laughs> but uh, uh, it's just it's <clears throat> just how it is it is it's just how it is you know I, yes. I can't there's no other way to say it. I got them both at the same time right I, did. I got them both at exactly the same time actually but Evic, I, I, I admit I, I do favour Evic, I have to say. I'll never, probably never get Bobo back unless... I'm bringing a halt to this, I'm sorry. It's well, I, I, can I conclude by saying I'm sure some of the viewers must empathise with his his plight and, yeah, and, shame, and share empathy. those emotions. Yeah, uh, my, my understanding is that one <laughs> or two of them have already... Uh, Switched called. off? No, no, they haven't switched off. In fact, the numbers have gone up. Um, but I, I understand one or two of them have already been in touch with the emergency medical services and there are many little white coats on their yes. way, even oh, now. Right. right. There will be a helpline <coughs> soon, so I hear. The Bobo helpline? The Bobo helpline. <coughs> <laughs> okay. Um, apparently it's all going on Crime Watch. Didn't you say it might be being used in a Chinese restaurant as a salt cellar? Yes, I believe so. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Somebody has up the willow pattern plate. What? <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Look, I tell yes. you what, I'll, I'm sorry, I'm going to divest myself of your notes because I still well. can't read them. You should have been a doctor. Can you that's read any of that's that? That's prescription writing. It is. Anyway, we'll, not, we'll have no medical talk in this studio. Thank you very much. Um, Look, even Chad's doing it now. Vapor Man has said, I heard of Lassie Come Home, but Bobo Come Home could make a good TV show too. <coughs> I worry about you, Vapor Man. I'll point to the production team. Yes, one of these <laughs> weepy films. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right, just before we go to the adverts, <coughs> I'm going to quote Jeff Bennion. If you or anyone in your family has been affected by the issues raised in the Bobo segment tonight, <laughs> please call us on 0898. <laughs> 519 Bobo Come Home. <coughs> this has been a public service announcement on behalf of the Bobo Party. <laughs> there was a snippet on Sky News, you know. I'm going to the adverts. I'm just going to the adverts. We'll be back in a minute and 45 <coughs> seconds. <laughs> And we're back in the room here on the Here's Hour on VaporTrails.tv where we've just seen in chat that Sweet Talk in 1970 is a psychiatric nurse. What most people out there don't know is that Sweet Talk in 1970 is down in Chesley Street which is about five, six miles from where we are sitting at the moment. So I'm going to see if you can get yourself up here because whether does need you or not, I do. <laughs> Um, Bring a jacket. 
and, and <laughs> yeah, straight, straight, <laughs> straight. And, and, and as for whoever it was, because Bobo, if you've got to be here live, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this on video on demand, you really have got to be here live, because Bobo is now in chat and is being asked to show on this vase where Daz touched you. <laughs> Seriously, this is just, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> yes, we were talking about technical stuff. Yes. Do you want to see some easy technical stuff? Uh, uh, yes, although while, I find while, none of it easy. But while, yeah. while you were away, I got right. an RSST, which is a Genesis right. style atomizer, leaving Bobo to one side for the moment. Right. And I wicked it, but unlike before, I didn't do it live on the show, but I did put a timer on it, and I got the whole thing wicked up and ready to go in next to no time. Had I not been demonstrating, I probably could have done it in two minutes. <coughs> and one or two folks, does in particular, um, occasionally get cruddy wicks on their Genesis. Yes! <laughs> don't you, does? No! Get cruddy. No, I don't, not at all. Cruddy wicks. Doesn't happen. It doesn't happen with <laughs> lion held. I don't know. Anyway, um, <coughs> again, uh, you know, I get asked all sorts of different questions. And I've been asked, how do you keep it clean? So I thought, right, I've got the camera out. Let's go and do some Vidone. So this is what I've been doing with the RSST. I'll show you how quick it is to clean and, and, and stuff like that. It's dead easy, yeah. watch. <coughs> A week on with the Smoktech RSST. How's it doing? Well, it's doing extremely well. Um, and you'll have seen from wicking it last week, it took very, very short order of time to wick and coil it. And I've still got the same wick and coil in. And as you can see, performing, delightfully. You probably won't be able to see all of the uh, the vapour that's coming up. Well, you can. And all I'm doing to keep it clean is just pulling the wick out, like so. Ouchie burn. Burnie ouch. Ow, ow, ow. That's going to drip some juice. And as you can probably note, let me get my cloth. And this may well be best done over a cloth because I've got to get this horizontal for you to see. Hopefully there's going to be no juice coming out. And then all I do is just fire the coil up and let it burn the crud off and you can see the crud burning off the coil fires up and there you go center of the coil is nice and hot and then stick the wick back in having just given it a little bit of a wind a little bit of a, a fertile the wick just slides back in straight down the center and if I then let it suck a little bit of juice in, let's see if we can make that fire up. And as you can see, zero hot spots and absolutely acres and acres of vapor. It is an absolute delight. Let's go live into the studio. And here we are, live in the studio. And that's all you need to do, Daz. <laughs> Yes, Steve. Yes. Should I? Uh, sh no. No? No. Yours looked a bit like a sort of mini cremation. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just a big <coughs> mess. But it was the first one that I'd done. But how long ago did you do it? <laughs> when was the knees meet? Oh, my God. The knees meet was in April? No? March? March. So March the about 16th. a month. March the 16th. We're in May now. Right, so about five weeks. It's near at the seven. Right, okay, so near at the seven. Yes, exactly. But it didn't look like that the other day. It didn't. I'm it sorry. Like... I'm sorry. I got slightly distracted there because if if you haven't got a Mac, you might not know this. But on on the iMac, even though I don't have Twitter <coughs> loaded, I get notifications, and apparently Bobo's just tweeted, which is. There's a conversation going on on Twitter with Bobo. Oh my Sorry, God. What, where, where were we at? His heart's How? just Mr. Beat. I noticed yeah, that. You can see he's gone all ashen and white. Look there, at was, there was the... It, look. It's just one big cruddy mess. It, it, does, it does look like a cremation. It, it has not yet finished. Literally, I couldn't get that wick out of there even if I wanted to. No. no. I, I'm going to have to put a whole new wick and coil on it. Because it is just one big, massy mess of it's, it. Can I just mm -hmm. borrow that? Yeah. And uh, let's uh, let's try some zoomage, shall we? We'll go to camera four and zoom in 
on the mess that is the wick. Here it comes. Get it in the middle. <coughs> Get that out of the way. Look at the state of that. Can you see that? Look at the lump of crud on that. Darren Johnson, you should be ashamed of yourself. I am yourself. ashamed of myself. That I'm really embarrassed. Honestly. <laughs> There's one for the other outtakes. <laughs> That's just shocking it is. Oh, God, I That's don't know. That's, I'm bro. sorry, I've... I've that's so taken me aback, I couldn't even get to the software to put yes. So yes. what are you, you going to do? I'm going to re-wick and coil it as soon as I get home. Have you seen the comments in chat? Yes, I'm not even looking at chat because I know what chat will be seeing. Well, I'm going to read them out for you. That's terrible. Disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah. No wonder Bobo ran off. Disgusting Does he ever clean it. <laughs> Bad that lump of coal. Lol, I've never seen a wick like that. That is one cruddy wick. Uh, Swifty McTavish. Does get Dave to make you a new coil? No, he's a big boy. He can do it himself. No, it's easier if I just got you to do it, though. He, you <laughs> want a chisel to get it off. I need a chisel to get it off. I need a windy pick. Miles Dalford, don't worry, Daz. Mine is the same <coughs> and older than mine. And Doug Phillips has said it's the smeggiest wick he's ever seen. <laughs> smeggiest. That's smeg a nice You know word. what smeg is? Short for smegma? Is it? Chopper cheese? Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Right. On that note, uh, let's go... <coughs> let's go let's move on let's move on because that's yeah we'll sort him out we'll get it we'll get it decrudded and re-wicked and stuff like that mm. those of you that were watching last week will know that it all went to hell in a handcart and we lost the stream for 20 of uh, her majesty's golden minutes and kind of rushed things through a bit after that and if you've been watching on video on demand you'd have missed a bit um, and i thought right i'm going to put that right this week so again sat down with the vidor camera and i was talking about this device here which i I actually rather like. Here it is in all its glory. Eight minutes of it. Some people, I have no idea why, like to use e-cigs with really tiny batteries. And this is the Fly Smoker KTS, sometimes called a Storm, which will take everything from, and here I need to do some unscrewing, an 18350, which is what I have in here at the moment, right the way through 18500s, all the way up to 18650s, telescopically. 18350, 18500, 18650. So let's see how it does all of that, shall we? And what we're starting off with might look familiar to a lot of people. Especially if I put the whole thing together in what you might call full telescopic storm mode. This probably isn't going to please one or two people, but let's face it, it's there, it exists. Folks might want to know what it's all about. So let's cover it. And screwing that all of the way down, I now have an 18500 equipped telescopic storm. The button is here. And as you can see, it has this knurled ring around it. And if I pull that up, it stops the button from pressing. And you can see, will not press under no circumstances. Put the knurled button down, the knurled ring down, and the button will fire, and it's quite a positive action. While we've got it here, let's take the base off. Again, unscrews, well threaded. And you can see inside there, the other side of the button. And you can also see that this bottom cap has the spring soldered in. If I just unscrew the top a little to give myself a little bit of room and screw this back in, you can see that the plunger moves in and out to contact the centre post. And the plunger itself is quite extensive. I've got no idea how they've made it. I've no idea. I don't think it'll come apart. I haven't tried yet. This is a 
inspired, shall we say, by a very popular Greek mod. But let's place the bass back in. I have to say the threading's pretty good. Pull it back together. And you can feel it tightening down, but it will go to this point. You've probably noticed as well it's a fingerprint magnet. But let's take the top off again. And before I put the 18650 in, have a look at that. As you can see, there is no ego threading on this. It's purely and simply 510. And the centre post is a fixed centre post, as far as I can see. Again, I've tried to get it out and mess about with it, but there doesn't seem to be a great deal of room for manoeuvre. It is threaded, but there's no way you can easily get to there. However, you will note three vent holes. They're not air holes. It's got nothing whatever to do with draw control. It's purely and simply venting. And when you consider that the majority of batteries have their vent holes at the top, that's probably not a bad place to put it. Um, the likelihood of a battery venting, of course, is very, very slim. Let's take this 18500 out and put the 18650 in and then open up the telescoping section to suit. And it's not a massive job to do. Anybody that's played with any telescoping mod will know this is relatively simple. Nearly there. And there you have it. Screw on the top section. And then simply firm it down. It's kind of self-adjusting. And that's it. Back in one piece. Two-tone, brass and purportedly steel. As I say, it is a fingerprint magnet. It does gather the prints. But it's quite neat. Um, quite nicely built. For the price, if you're looking to try something like a little finger button, then it's probably worth giving a look. If you are looking for bespoke mod quality, you're not going to get it here. But for cheap, to give something a try, why not? And why not indeed? Um, it's kicking up a storm here. Um, it's, it comes from um, all over the place. I got mine from um, POTV. Right. Planet of the Vips was where mine came from. I think it cost me around about 32, 33, 34 quid, something along those lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I understand Zany has them. They, they are originally from this place, which is uh, Fly Smoker. And uh, that's the beast there. I'll do some scrollage. Comes in all sorts of kits and you can get it in solid stainless all the way through. Well, solid shiny all the way through, a la that. Or you can get the two-tone jobby with the uh, brass effect at the top. Um, there's all kinds of different versions of it. Um, and it seems, you know, as I said, for a, something just to try. I mean, you've both, mm. both tried it. That button is really, really positive. It is, yeah. It is very positive, yes. Very positive. I mean, to say that it is heavily inspired by a certain Greek telescopic storm would not be understating the case. Mm. I can't deny that that is the case. But at the price, I think it's difficult to be too critical of it. And it's there for people that want to perhaps put their toes in the, the full GG water. Um, that's a good stepping stone to find out if they're going to like it. Mm. I'm surprised and at the price. It's, it is quite cheap, yes. Um, there's been words about a kick, right? Do, will it take a kick? It won't take a kick on an 18650, but it will take a kick with an 18500. In, in fact, it's not an issue with an 18500. Mm. You can get one in just with an 18650, but you end up with the threads mm. showing. Yeah. Um, and you can, you know, you'll either go for that or you'll not. I suppose if it was all the one colour, mm. if you had it all the. It wouldn't be, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. wouldn't be as noticeable, but it's 
tight mm. and you'd have to I think you would probably have to take the spring off mm -hmm. which you could do with a kick mm. it probably wouldn't matter um, but yeah I mean as ever my my thumbs up and thumbs down bits me pluses and minuses me ticks and crosses um, are fairly straightforward for some reason I've gone off shiny <coughs> first year purely and simply because of the finger magnetic qualities yeah. of the whole thing and if, if you look at that now uh, if I shift this out of the way if you look at it now you can see that it's it's really really picking up the finger marks that should be shiny as a very shiny thing and it is picking the finger marks up something chronic um, but that said I, I prefer brushed stainless these days mm -hmm. um, I really wish it had an <coughs> ego thread on the top I really do wish it had an ego thread on the top there's room enough there to do it and it would make the likes of MT3s and Evo mm. cartos and what have you that much easier to use and anything else that would fit on uh, Ego threading. Um, I think it's a little bit of a cheat having what looks like the air holes mm. because they are vent holes mm -hmm. and if it's I mean, the likelihood of batteries venting is fairly slim in fact it's very slim and if they are going to go if you palm it it just depends on where your button is as yeah. to what's going to get blown off first really mm. because the other vent holes are right beside the button mm -hmm. um, but I'm not a great worrier about vent holes I have to say no. um, in short do I regret spending 35 quid on it or whatever it was no I don't um, it's neat and I suppose if I need to I can take it down to 18 350 and uh, it's very bling it is bling isn't mm. it yeah very bling you like bling well, I would just say with the, with the shininess that I could see the type of person wearing like a lot of gold rings or a lot of gold jewellery would that would be like definitely something that they would look at. You mean like you're somebody wearing a gold bracelet around his wrist, for instance? No, well, I'm not on about someone who would just wear a gold bracelet. I mean, by all means, you know. But somebody you wears it's a for lot a of gold. Oh, oh right. So it's gold. certainly very attractive, I oh, think. Oh, yeah, too. absolutely. <coughs> but, yeah, I totally get with what you see. You can see it there with the fingerprint mag magnet. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to read out what Rat thinks is just typed in. And she says, do you mean a chav? No, I don't mean a chav. <laughs> I don't. I'm not I didn't say that. <laughs> But no, just somebody who I, I could see someone who, who wears a lot of jewelry that being a kind of kind of mod for them, mechanical wise. Mechanical wise, I, I think uh, I, I mean that that um, Ithaca that's on there is is specifically wicked to suit a, a standard battery. Yeah. Um, but it does work better with a kick in it. Mm. There's no two ways about that. It definitely does. Mm. Um, but it needs an extension tube, I think, in order to be able to take the kick properly and not lose the uh, extensibility of the whole thing. But again, as I say, for that amount of money, mm. it's not exactly going to break the bank, is it? That's true. Not at all. No, no not it, at all. Uh, I was surprised at that. Yes. And we're just about there. Again. Yes. The time the has heavens. stopped past. Absolutely again. <laughs> oh, Pommy65 says he thinks you mean a pimp. Does. No, I don't, I don't mean a pimp. that either. <laughs> Doesn't mean a don't pimp. Don't that either. Doesn't mean a chav. Doesn't mean a pimp. No. Just somebody who wears a lot of jewellery. Somebody that wears a lot of jewellery. Yeah, like a lots lot of Lots and lots and lots of rings. Yeah, somebody yeah, who's rings quite sort of ostentatious. Yeah, you see, that's why I like Keith being here, because Keith gets what I'm saying, don't you, Keith? Ostentatious. Yeah, ostentatious. Like a pimp. <laughs> I, uh, I wouldn't have You see all them poor that people comparison. wearing all these jewel this jewellery and that they're being called pimps and chavs now. It's right. terrible, it's shocking, it's disgusting, Peter, and right. I don't yeah. know how people can pro po possibly even get there. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to wind it up. I, I did, it, it goes too fast. It goes too fast, doesn't it? Yes. It and goes I'm not here over. next week. Oh, You're not here of next course week. not. No. Yes. Will Grim be here? Grim will be here in my absence, yes. So we'll have Keith and Keith Mark II. Keith Mark II, yes. Is Keith Mark Keith II? Mark I Keith Mark haven't met two. Keith Mark II. He's got more pockets than you. I yeah. Think yeah. He'll be sitting oh. over there. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Although no, I, I, I mean he did. He did make me uh, me stand. Oh, he's the stand maker. He's the stand maker. maker. Yep. Stand. Good maker. idea. Yep. He's a heartbreaker, and apparently the ladies love him. All right. And so do certain gentlemen, but I'm saying no more about right. that. Um, it's been a delight and a pleasure as always. Thanks to the pair of you for joining me again. Pleasure. pleasure. Larry Curley and Moore back together. It's it's brilliant. We like that. 
or is it Biggles, <laughs> Algae and Ginger, uh, whichever <laughs> way. Um, can we say a big thank you to Chris behind the scenes who's been keeping us right for time and, and feeding in that very boring is sending you a link for yes. Bailey's Irish Cream. Thank you very much. From Very Boring. So there you go. Uh, thank you to everybody for tuning in and watching and, and being with us and keeping us company tonight. As ever, it's been a pleasure to be here with you. Until we see you next time, don't forget to tune in on Saturday for Sutton on Saturday and uh, on Sunday for Dave, Monday for Tinny Tip, Tuesday for Mark, and I'll be back next Wednesday. Until then, from all of us, bye bye. 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 bye.